in February 2012 at Richford Gate Surgery where I was assessed and sectioned on that day. It said I was sectioned because I was very guarded and suspicious. suspicious. In other words, paranoid. When I was actually in the ambulance and I asked the senior social worker why I was being sectioned, she said to me I was being sectioned because they made the decision that I was disagreeable with my care. In other words, they asked me a question, are you disagreeable with any future decision we are about to make when the assessment was over? And I said, no, I'm not disagreeable. And when they came back and they sectioned me and put me in the ambulance with the police. The reason for doing it was I said I was disagreeable. It took them an hour to make the decision to say that I said I was disagreeable. But they asked that, to sit that question just before leaving. And if I had answered I was disagreeable, I'd have been sectioned instantly instead of it taking an hour to make that decision and section me. I never said I was disagreeable, I said I was agreeable. And it was stated to me that I was not sectioned because I was suspicious, in other words, paranoid. So I'd like to ask about that and I'd like you to look into that. <coughs> also, to verify it, Dr. Willis thinks I was sectioned for saying I was disagreeable because he's got a bad memory. That's, it's deba well, that's debatable. He might have, might have been full of the time, he might remember properly or whatever, but the bit about me being dis being sectioned for being paranoid. If he thinks I was sectioned for being disagreeable, and that's the reason, where does the whole thing about being paranoid come from? Or suspicious?